The past, the present, the future. This is Friday Night Fright. What the planet is listening to. Hello, my name's Ian Austin, and welcome to Friday Night Fright Show Mania 2019. Yay! Tonight's movie. Today's movie. Tonight or today? There's the question. It stains the sounds red, directed by Colin Mingahan. Four out of five skulls on Shudder.com. 92 minutes long, 2017 English. Mm-hmm. In throes of zombie apocalypse, comma, Molly, dash, a troubled woman from Las Vegas, dark past, dash, finds a safe stranding desert with lone ravenous zombie on her tail, full stop. One zombie? Fair enough. At first, comma, she's easily able to outpace her undead pursuer, comma, but things quickly become nightmare when she realises zombie doesn't need to ever stop and rest, full stop. Yeah, it's a zombie. Wrong alone and supplies are beat down by harsh environment, comma. Molly will have some in strength she never knew she had to ultimately face both zombie and demons of chaser or her life, full stop. A Shudder exclusive, full stop. Cast Brittany Allen, Ju- Joanne Reedinger, Merwin Montessa. Okay, so we've confirmed there's three actors and cast, so that's be another person other than Molly. That's fine. That sounds interesting, but I have no idea how they're going to get that 90 minutes long. Although saying that, there's this great little zombie movie called Colin, where I have no idea how they got that to 85 minutes long. They somehow did. So, anyway, I'll be back off brief with my sponsor, my review of It Stains the Sands Red. Hello, this is Ian Austin, and I just watched It Stains the Sands Red, and wow, um, I did not expect the movie to go in that direction, and I'm kind of stunned, really. What started as kind of a silly, somewhat inconsequential movie with two unlikable characters, one who obviously um, passed away quite quickly because this is a single woman um, walking through uh, Las Vegas with a zombie after her. What starts quite broad turns into a really, really, really fucking good movie um, by virtue of being a character study morning zombie movie. And also playing with the idea of literal and figurative demons, the zombie chase after being reflection of her dark past coming back and get her. And long and short of it, I was really impressed. It was a very well acted movie, very tense, very cinematic, which is good because I like cinematic movies. Very sort of interesting how it shattered your perceptions, starting off quite broad, like I said, and coming more and more. Um, dark as it went on it got very dark near the end and it's definitely a reward sorry rewarding experience i am kind of stunned really because i genuinely was expecting a silly goofy zombie movie and i got a two-person character study because the um woman playing molly and the guy playing zombie were both incredible and that's kind of an interesting thing to say when you're talking about a zombie movie, not zombies aren't really a great acting exercise. I know you get stuff like Bubbing and Day of the Dead and stuff like that, but normally it's not an acting showcase. But guy they got playing zombie here, really good job, really good movements, really creepy, clearly put a lot of work in playing zombie. Um and definitely came across. Um, I don't even know who Zombie was. I guess Zombie's name's Smalls. Um, Joanne Reedinger. And I was just looking with Peter, and he doesn't have much of an acting career, which is bizarre. It's what a fucking great performance. Like, the movements, the mannerisms, the, the way he managed to convey certain things without being able to speak, and under a lot of gory makeup. And what is, can I say, about the female lead performance, Brittany Allen, that's already been said, goddamn fucking awesome. What a fucking performance. Like, to run full gamflet, to run full gamflet and full, full gauntlet. And apparently she was in Jigsaw, I remember that. Although I do, I sort of remember who she was in Jigsaw, but Jesus Christ, what a seriously good performance in 
this movie, it stains the sound thread. And apparently she was an executive producer. But movie re anchors on her performance because if she doesn't sell it, she doesn't sell a lot of the twists and turns. This movie doesn't work, and she really does because she starts off as this kind of flighty drug addict. And really, you get levels peeled back and peeled back and peeled back. You get a really mangled lead performance that deserved a lot more props than it got. It did get a fair bit of props. Um, Variety said. They praised the performance and resourcefulness of the director, but they said it was never as scary or fun enough to leave memorable impression. What a shitty review that was. Uh, LA Weekly said what sh- could have been wordless slog is inventive and even buoyant. And Hollywood Report wrote, John fans like they have a hard time coming to terms with this tonally confused and sometimes grating theme. Its commercial prospects are limited, despite the appeals it makes to some undeserved audiences. What a bunch of shit that was. This is a gem of horror movie. It's a really creative, really interesting, really way told movie of a love violence and an actually good cat rock. What more can you want? I mean, it's... This looks like a movie, it feels like a movie, and it's a one person movie, one person in a zombie movie, which keeps pace, which is twists and turns, and violence, a few creepy scenes, um, the obligatory creepy soldiers, aka prisoners. But I mean, at the same time, like, it's literally a one woman show, and she fucking nails it. Like, seriously. Sometimes I get the impression these people don't watch the movies. They come up with their bullshit buzz lines and that's all they do. And I'm getting to bullshit buzz lines too. You've you've listened to my Rob Zombie um, House of Thousand Corpse review. And that's sh- Devil's Rejects even. That's shit. Like, you know, it's really harsh on old Rob Zombie who put a lot of work in making a horror movie. And I just mocked him for 10 minutes. But I, I, I think generally I prefer stuff like this. This feels like that weird gem you find in the video store in like the early 90s, mid-90s, whatever. You just be browsing shows and see movies and think, that sounds pretty good. And you watch it and be like, that's really fucking good. And I really enjoyed that. I had a great time watching this. And I feel it's probably one of the best zombie movies I've seen recently. I feel like the zombie genre in particular can do some fascinating things which it doesn't get a chance to do too often. You know, there's lots of room for growth in that genre because you can do metaphors and the figurative literal divide a lot easier than you can in certain other genres. And again, I have to give props to the actress, um, Brittany Allen, and also director Colin Minihan, because this is, does a really good job making, taking the, um, what you call it, um, aesthetic, oh, he directed Grave Encounters, oh, wait, there, there you go, you know, seriously, props to this guy, you know, and a movie called Extraterrestrial, hmm, that'll be interesting, so yeah, wow, well, I very much reckon, recommend it very much enjoyed it stains stands red and i feel it's definitely a good movie of a really really good ending which is all you can ask for um so tomorrow i will be recapping um shit where what the fuck um i would be recapping lords of salem so lord salem tomorrow rob zombie but yeah, I, I really enjoyed this one. And this is the sort of movie I wish I'd have made more of because this is a really entertaining, really well told movie with a good structure, good acting, good writing, good directing, good visuals, good performances too, you know, performance for the zombie part. And generally really gets you buzzed about horror movies and also a strong emotional uncurrent when it gets to the ending and it's hitting some of those really hard emotional beats and giving you a sense of catharsis that the actress and character have, you really get into it. So definitely recommend this one. So I won't spoil it because I think you should watch this goddamn movie, but I really enjoyed it. And this is definitely give me a good sense of what Shudder can do in the future. But anyway, enough about that. Good movies done. It's time to watch Lords of Salem, more Rob Zombie, and, you know, hopefully we can continue run of solid shadow movies. But until next time, my name's Ian Austin, and remember, life is beautiful.